Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid 1. I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of the entire Metal Gear Solid series. So that's Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, 4, and then Peace Walker. Uh, and I say, when I say entire, I mean all the ones that are in the Legacy Collection, because that's what I got. Uh, it was 60 bucks. I was like, well, that's the entire, that's an entire series that I've never played, really. So, hell yeah, I'll get that. Uh, with that said, I do have a few things to say, obviously, because there's just a lot to talk about. So, if you don't care about that stuff, you can skip a couple minutes forward. Uh, but, so for the Metal Gear Solid series, the, most of it is going to be blind. I've played through Metal Gear Solid 4 all the way, but I haven't played through Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and 1. I don't know why I said 2 before 1, but I haven't played through Metal Gear Solid 1 to 3. Um, I've only played a demo of the first one, a demo of the second one, and, like, a few hours of the third one before my PS2 crapped out and I couldn't, it wouldn't read the disc anymore. So yeah, I, I really don't know much about this game, and so hopefully we'll have... A lot of fun as I go through this. It's gonna be interesting seeing how the game, you know, kind of progresses. I know there's like this whole uh, chronological thing about it, like this this Metal Gear Solid games before this, like Metal Gear Solid 3 is long before the storyline of Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 and 4, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna play them in order of their release because, you know, despite all that, the gameplay is gonna be progressing and that is something that you can't really, uh, I, I, I would like to, I'd like to experience it going forward rather than all around the place because I want to play like Metal Gear Solid 3 and have this like relatively refined gameplay then play Metal Gear Solid 1 <laughs> and be like, oh shit, this is terrible. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll go through it all. And that's about all that I need to say. I mean, I know a few snippets of the storyline and like little random information because I sometimes I, I binge read Wikipedia articles on games I've never played because it's like, oh, well, I've never played it so I could fuck it. Oh, that's cool. So that's what that, that's who Snake is. All right. Uh, but unless you play the game, at least that's how I feel. Unless I've actually played through the game, I can't really remember these things. I don't know the characters. I don't know their stories. So hopefully we get to experience that with Without saying anything else, let's jump into this, so new game, and I've been like moving this because like if you stay here for like 30 or 60 seconds and you don't move, it does an opening cutscene thing, and so I like, I, I don't want that to happen because I already watched it. I don't know if the opening cutscene is going to play again when we jump into the new game, but that is okay. So we're going to play on normal because I have really no intention of playing this game on hard, okay? I just don't. So we're going to hope that the game is okay on normal. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, 
specialist in interrogation, and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, so we're not gonna go ahead and take off my mask? That is all right. So, I guess it just kind of plops me into here. Oh boy. This will be interesting. What do I have? I don't have a gun, but I do have a scope. I'm going to look at you! Alright, just equip that. Oh, it, it, there we go. Oh gosh. So the only training that I have is a little bit of VR training. I played a little bit of that because I was having a little bit of problems with my Hapog and it wasn't really working. Uh oh. Oh shit. Fucking puddles, really? Uh oh. Uh, already? I'm gonna beat your ass! Pow, pow, pow! Now I do apologize for sucking at this. Oh Jesus Christ! Yata! Oh! No, stay down! Oh God! Ow! Yeah, you can just go ahead and kill me so I can play this properly. Fuck! I didn't realize the puddle was gonna do that. Holy shit! In fact, that didn't even look like a puddle to me. I thought it was like a little bit of a break on the ground. Snake. Snake. I, I goofed up, Colonel. I really fucked up here. Now, there's no like crouching or anything like that, so that's always gonna be- that's gonna be fucking annoying. You're either running, or you're fucking crawling. And I don't have anything to knock these guys out, so it's time to actually do stealth things. You need to go- Uh-oh. Oh, shit, come on! This is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid? Let's just run! <laughs> hmm, like I was saying, I'm not good at stealth games, so if you're like watching this Let's Play and you've never seen me try stealthing and other things, you're in for a really sore uh, experience. What? Snake, 
There's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. Yeah, I know. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Oh. Really? I had to wait for the elevator? Shit, I thought I could just press a... There's no button. All right. So I'm pretty much just here to experience the world. Let's fucking crawl across the water. <gasps> Let's not crawl across the water. Why'd he go here? Shit. Oh, this is just terrible. I'm not even gonna, like, jump cut this. I want you guys to experience my failure with me. Because as we progress, we're gonna be, like, masters of stealth. We're starting off as super novices. This doesn't even have- this is, like, hardcore old-school gaming. This motherfucker didn't even give me a tutorial. It's like, I hope you read the manual, motherfucker. It's like, okay. <laughs> read the manual, bitch. That's how you learn how to play. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. I mean, I know the controls, it's just... Let's see, normal run- is there a walk? <laughs> is there a walk? Because I don't want to run, I want to slowly go around. Normal punch, tap on the wall. Equip weapon, quick change. Uh, supposedly there's also a couple things I should read. Here's some information to give you backstory because they're like, yeah, these guys probably never played Metal Gear 1 and 2. So, before they play Metal Gear Solid, here's the prequel. What's Fox have? Call the game. Infiltration. Infiltrate without being seen by your enemies. Snake has two primary missions. Infiltrate the nuclear disposal site. Determine the nuclear launch capabilities of the terrorists and prevent a launch at all costs. Okay. Now, there's supposedly like a codec thing that I need to find, but I'm not sure. Wait, wait, what about disc two? Is there a disc two? Yeah, we'll worry about that later. This is a PlayStation 1 emulation on the PS3 that you can download, so at least there's that. Torture, what? Press O repeatedly to restore your life, you will receive- Oh, gosh. Yeah, you know what? Let's just fucking... Mm. Ooh. So the guards all have a weak point on their backside, so I could literally, like, stand right behind them. Sup? <laughs> of course, the moment they see you, obviously they see you, just kill me. So we're gonna experiment with these guys, we're gonna see how much we can fuck with them. I'm kidding, we're gonna fucking actually play the game now. Alright. See, this is why I'm glad I'm not playing through the series chronologically, because I can imagine how frustrating it'd be to go from, like, Metal Gear Solid 3... ...to this. Alright, fuck it, I need to move up. Oh, man! There's a guy right there. Gotta be peeking around the corner. As soon as he moves... Oh, shit! That fucking goddammit! I tried to slink across the wall behind him. Ha ha! <laughs> uh. Oh. So technically, I could just stay here. Elevator, you gotta wait, snake. Alright, but there's a fucking item way over in the backside that I can't see. There, over there, there's a ration. So I need to fucking see if I can get to it. Without getting spotted. Huh? What was that noise? It was nothing, damn it! Camera angles being separated from me. Whoops, I just kicked something. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay. <gasps> Fucking puddle of water. So I don't know how long I have to wait. Oh, well, fucking speak of the fucking devil. There's one right there. There's probably guards on it. Yep, you can see that one, like, red light. 
little blip. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Fucking... Who thought that playing with a D-pad only was a good idea? Oh yeah, the PlayStation 1 didn't start off with a fucking analog stick. Oh well. We did it! We got past the first section! After many failed attempts. The key to playing the game is just run around frantically and not get spotted while doing so. Yeah, let's just ditch our equipment on the elevator. No one's gonna get suspicious of that. Yeah, I'm Solid Snake. No one's gonna realize that the elevator's going up, despite the fact that no one's supposed to be going up. But hey, maybe someone's at the top of the elevator calling it up, right? Tactical espionage action. Metal Gear Solid, huh. Oh. Guys, remember when old games, like, stuck within their genres? Stealth games were stealth games, rather than stealth action games? <gasps> I don't. And that's why I'm gonna suffer. Front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Hey, shut up! Don't worry. It's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Oh shit, they're sending F-16? Let's send the Russian gunship after it! There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. Eh? This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> huh! You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. <laughs> Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar Yeah, system. why does it turn off when I fucking get spotted? The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. B 
Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. Yeah, hearing. First, <laughs> I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Why? Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Oh. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. Oh, shit, it's I actually have to remember things? Frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. Jeez! I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Whoa. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. I'm glad they gave me a Soliton radar tutorial after that first section. It's like dropping the action, get in, learn, the front door. then here's the stuff. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. You know, you don't have to do abbreviations of things like that. <laughs> I'll let you do the best COA. You have enough time to say course of action. It's not like anyone's gonna hear you. You're in my ears. Alright, let me save. Uh, fucking six? Nine six? That's the wrong button. I pressed X. Hey! I need to save, like, very, very actively, lest something bad happens. Snake, remember what the Gaul said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China, but I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. Jeez. Well, I'll think about it. Man, just snakes all out. Hey, I'll hold you do that strip search. I want to learn more about you. Wow, you're cute. Ugh. Snake, your mission is to infiltrate, not to fight. Don't let the enemy see you. Yeah, I learned my lesson. You didn't waste any time in getting spotted, did you? Too bad. Looks like your cover is blown. Proceed with extreme caution. First, you've got to rescue the DARPA chief. Infiltrate the building in front. Look for some way to get in. Yeah, all right. I wish I had a gun. That'd be nice. So, there are some spotlights in the middle over there. That will instantly detect me if they see me, but there's a fucking item in the middle of it. What? 
There's an there's an item box right in the middle of that fucking spotlight field. So somehow I'll have to navigate myself into the spotlights. Now you can see how it opens up when the spotlights are on the side and I can go in through the little entrance. But I don't know about if any enemies can see me from that little area. It doesn't look like they can. They literally can only see as far as their fucking cone goes, so yeah. So we'll wait for this one to fucking... Come around. Ah, chaff grenades. Neat. Chaff grenades, I think, prevent radars from going off, or just disrupt electronics. I'm not really sure. Okay. There's a security camera here. Let me... A surveillance camera? Y yeah, that's why I'm trying to fucking avoid it. <laughs> a surveillance camera, he says, as I... As he fucking holds me in the door. Alright, there's an item over here. But I have shaft grenades, so... Disable electronics. Yatta! Ah, stun grenades. Cool! Too bad it blocks out my own radar. Shit. Hey. <laughs> I'm learning. Yes. Now, from what I remember, or from what I can tell from a lot of different things, there are a lot of items spread out around the map. Or maps. So I definitely want to keep an eye out for different things like that. Uh, shit, are there two enemies right there? Oh, fuck. He's sleeping, though. I could stun grenade him. I could... Throw down a shaft grenade, stun grenade him, and then go into the vent. Or I could try going up to the second floor, and going in a vent up there instead. I think I'll go the long way. So that way I have more of a chance to find items, and more of a chance to get detected by enemies. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm in a predicament here. Uh, I need to get across here again. Nope. That's not happening. Nope, still not happening! <laughs> Fuck it! Anyways, I do find it funny that they're like... Ooh. Oh, hell yes! That's nice! Anyways, I find it funny that they're like, These guys have enhanced seeing and hearing. And then you can just walk up right behind them. Like, yeah, they can hear you if you step on a puddle or something, but it's just- you can walk up right behind them. You can run up right behind them, and they're like, <laughs> But hey, it's an old game, I'm not gonna judge it too much. Alright. I need to avoid this guy. The sleeping dude isn't gonna be able to do anything to me, so... I'm not worried about him. But that guy, on the other hand... Going through his whole patrol route. Shut up, Sleepy. So there's a weak spot under- directly underneath the cameras. Like... Here. So that's useful for getting by them. Bless you! I mean, uh, <laughs> Ooh. 